Welcome to the Stock Scores Knowledge and Tools webinar. I am going to walk you through the different tools and education offerings that we have at StockScores.com, show you my indicators that give me an edge in the market. I've been trading the market for 35 years, have been teaching others how to trade the market for about 25 years, and ultimately we have three styles of trading that we do, day trading, swing trading, and position trading. And if we were to look at some charts, here we have a day trading chart. This is a trade from Friday. The buy point was right here. You can see there's a little pink and yellow dot there. That's called an action candle. It's my own indicator and I'll be showing you that today and how that works. In this instance, uh, the stock moved for about two hours, had a nice little parabolic move to the upside before the sell signal there at the red arrow, 22% gain in two hours. Then we have a swing trade. This one was over the last uh, 10 days or so. The entry point on October 7th. And again, you can see there the little action candle indicator right here. And then it uh, had a nice run, sell signal right about in there when the parabolic trend was broken. That was a 70% gain in seven days. And then finally, a position trade, again, using that same action candle indicator right there. And some of you may actually have played this stock because I put that in my weekly newsletter and make sure you're subscribed to the free stock scores weekly newsletter. You can go to stockscores.com on the homepage. There is a sign up for that. But this trade moved up 96% in the last two months and it all started with the action candle. Now, very important to understand, not every action candle matters. You can see there's some here, there's some here and here. It's the ones that break from the right kind of pattern that are important. And so when they surprise the market, so for example, this one here is surprise strength from relatively boring low volatility trading. Those are the ones that matter. Here again, you can see low volatility, boring trading, and then surprise action candle, and that leads to the stock making the big move. Oftentimes stocks will make action candles in the big move, but we don't wanna buy those because that's chasing the stock higher. We wanna make sure we get in at the right spot. So. In order to do these kinds of trades, it really requires three things, knowledge, tools, and support. Knowledge is the strategies, the rules for when to buy, when to sell, how to manage risk, the step-by-step -step process for identifying trades. And all of those things are what I put into my strategies. I have uh, a number of different strategies. We've talked about them in the webinars earlier this week. On Wednesday, we talked about retirement uh, investment strategies. On Thursday, we talked about day and swing trading strategies, and I'll show you some more about that today. Then we have tools, the tools that give you an edge in the market. I try to use my own tools, things that I've developed because they are not widely used. Not many people have access to them, and that gives them extra power. They have the ability to give me an edge over other traders to get into positions sooner or to get into positions that have a higher reliability in terms of being profitable. And then finally, support. When I started trading, there were no books, there were no courses, there was very little out there to learn how to trade. And the result is that it took me about eight years before I became successful. And in my eighth year, I turned $30,000 into half a million dollars in three months, but I wish I could have done that a lot sooner. And one of the things that I think I can offer you that will help you a lot is speed up that process a lot because I've made all the mistakes, I've built all the tools, I've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in the tools that I'm gonna show you today, and they will give you an advantage in the market. But more than anything, one of the greatest assets that I can offer is my experience and helping you. I only teach about 100 people per year, and so I do this twice, so 50 people at a time, and I walk them through the process, and I'm there to help you. If you do a trade and you think you did everything great, you send me an email because it didn't work, I can give you that feedback. In fact, just on Thursday or Friday, I had an email from someone who thought they did everything properly, but they missed a few things. And it's things that are in the videos, but you know, it's easy when you're learning to miss out a few details. And so I was able to show him what the mistake was. And then it's like, okay, I'm not gonna do that again. I understand the mistake. And that's, I think, where the support comes in. So what are we gonna do today? I will. I'll uh, show you how I can provide you with the knowledge to invest and trade the stock market successfully. 
I'll showcase my tools, my indicators, my market scanning tool, the things that I built over the last 20 or 30 years. And then I'm going to demonstrate the process that you go through to learn my strategies and how you can apply my rules step by step and again with my support. So let's talk about investing first, stock scores for investors. This is what I call position trading. If you're managing your retirement portfolio, if you are, you know, don't have an interest in sitting in front of your screen for an hour or more a day, you just want to buy stocks, maybe 10 to 20 trades a year and grow your retirement savings. Position trading is the way to do that. And so what we're trying to do here is beat the market while protecting capital. And I say beat the market because if you wanted to be a passive investor, if you didn't want to put in any time or effort, I would say the best strategy is just to go out and buy an index ETF, something like the S&P 500 ETF or the TSX 60 ETF, and just buy it and sit on it because they do quite well. Historically, the S&P 500 ETF is average maybe 10% a year, which means your money doubles every seven or eight years. And that's great. But if you want to beat the market, if you want your money to double every four or five years, well, in order to do that, you have to earn a return that is better than the market return. So if the market, again, returns 10% a year and you can improve your annual return to 20% a year, then obviously you're going to grow your capital that much quicker. In order to beat the market like that, you have to do something called trading alpha or finding alpha. And what alpha is are stocks that move faster than the market. So I showed some of these in the webinar on Wednesday, and you can watch the video of that webinar on the Stock Scores YouTube channel. But a stock like uh, Netflix or Meta or Nvidia, these stocks have dramatically outperformed the index. They have alpha, they have the edge. And stocks don't have alpha forever. They typically have it for a relatively short time. I mean, stock like Nvidia has had alpha for a couple of years, but over the last three to six months, NVIDIA has actually underperformed the market because it's been more or less going sideways while the market continues to go higher. So what we want to do as position traders is find alpha, find those stocks that are going to beat the market. And as I talked about in Wednesday and Thursday and really Tuesday's webinar as well, is in order to find alpha, you have to find stocks that have improving fundamentals and are attracting investors in a way that most stocks aren't. So they have something going on that drives their performance. We want to utilize tools that help us identify these quality opportunities. You know, position trading doesn't require as much time if you have the right tools. When I started out in the market, the tools didn't exist. And I would spend countless hours finding the stocks that had the characteristics of alpha. But then I decided to build the tool because they didn't exist. So I partnered up with another company in Vancouver, Canada, and we built the market scan tool, the first version of it. And it took six months, probably a quarter million dollars of development time and you know, cost to build that tool. And it still exists today. And it really helps me to identify opportunities quickly, but also let the best stocks shine. Ultimately, as investors, our number one goal is capital preservation. We want to avoid big losses using good risk management. So if we jump back to that example that I talked about earlier. Here we have EVGO, gave a buy signal right here. Our entry price was there. And when I buy that stock, I'm going to plan to lose if the stock falls below this floor. This floor is signaled by this other indicator we have right here called an inflection point. And that indicator will help me to identify where the buyers took control of the stock. The stock was moving down, it stopped moving down, started moving up, and then it made the action candle. So that has established a floor. You know, I hear people all the time say, I use stop loss orders and I end up getting stopped out and then I watch the stock go right up again. Well, one of the reasons that that happens is because people put stops that are too tight. They say to themselves, well, I don't want to lose more than 10% on this trade. And so they just arbitrarily pick 10% as the downside risk for their trade. 
Well, that actually is a very bad idea to have a static percentage stop loss because it doesn't reflect the market's opinion. And so when we look at this chart, what we're looking at is the market's opinion. The market says that is the support price. That is the line in the sand that the buyers and sellers have drawn to identify where the floor is for this stock. And so we always want to plan to lose just below that floor. And that's one of the core concepts in my approach. It's not just when to buy and it's not just when to sell, but it's also the risk management so that we take small losses if we are wrong and we will be wrong some of the time. And then when we are right, we let the profit run. And another common problem that traders have is they sell too early. I got an email this morning from someone that bought one of my feature stocks that I just featured a couple of days ago. It hasn't gone up yet, it's down a couple of days, but it is nowhere near the stop loss point. And yet, you know, this person sold the stock because it went down for two days. They don't have a plan. They don't have uh, a knowledge of how to set stops and understand how to size positions. And that's a big part of what I teach. So in the investor approach that I have created, we start by understanding the base theory. I think if you're gonna understand the rules for when to buy and sell and all those sorts of things, you have to understand some basic theory about why stock prices change. So we begin with that. You're then going to learn a number of different strategies for investing in the market. And I have, I can't remember, we'll look at it in a minute, five or six. And each of those strategies, it has a different purpose, has a different style of entry. And they also require different amounts of time. I have strategies that you can do every day, take maybe 15 minutes a day. And I have strategies where you only have to do it once a week and it takes 15 minutes a week. Once you figure out which strategy you're gonna focus on, and I can help you with that, you're then gonna practice. I don't want you to trade with real money, I want you to practice. Because it's no different than any other skill. You know, you wouldn't go jump and play in the NHL without practicing as a hockey player. You wouldn't go down a black run on a ski hill without practicing on the green run first. And so I encourage all of my students to practice, start with a small amount of risk and slowly increase their risk as they learn. And through that process, you will get support from me. I've got, I say here over 30 years, it's actually over 35 years of experience in the market. I have made every mistake in the book. I'm an expert on mistakes because I've made them all and I can help you avoid a lot of those mistakes. You're going to scan the market to identify opportunities. We did some market scans in our presentation on Wednesday. You can again watch that webinar from Wednesday and see how that market scan works. I'll show you again today. That's gonna to allow you to identify the right trades. You're then gonna do your risk management calculation to enter the trade, and then you're gonna exit. So that's a quick overview of the investor approach, and we'll go into um, the step-by-step -step in just a minute. For active traders, this is people that want to day or swing trade the market. You will decide whether you wanna be full-time or part-time. I have students that do both. And you can do it a couple hours a day, you can do it an hour a day, you can do it all day. You can do it in the evenings because we have extended hour sessions. We have pre-market sessions, which are great for people on the East Coast or even better for people in Europe. There's opportunities everywhere. And it all comes down to applying the same basic concepts. And all that we change is the time of day that we apply them and the time frame that we apply them to. If you're a position trader, you're applying it to a weekly or daily chart. If you're a day trader, you might be applying it to a one minute chart or even, believe it or not, a 10 second chart. But the concepts are the same. We use the same indicators. And what we're trying to do when we actively trade is turn our capital over more often to increase the return. You can have dramatic returns as a day trader because you can turn that capital over. You can, if you have say $10,000, you can move that $10,000 in and out of the market every day. And if you're making, you know, two or three percentage points a day, well, all of a sudden that turns into a really strong return over a year, but it's more work, it's more time. It's not for everyone, you have to think quickly at least for day trading, swing trading, you can slow down a little bit. In order to get there, you have to, again, understand base theory, how to read a chart, what are rising bottoms on a chart, inflection points, some of the things that we talked about earlier in the week. 
And then you should be applying well-tested strategies. And this is where I come in. I've developed strategies that have taken me years to refine. They're based on real trading, not based on computer simulations. I have been building these strategies and refining them for the last 35 years. They're simple, they're straightforward. And the only thing that is a challenge is to have the emotional control to follow the rules. And that's where my support is so important. So here again is a swing trading strategy. We talked about this at the top. It starts with the action candle indicator right over here. There's another one right there, which was a pretty good entry. This one was not bad, it's getting a little late. But we have different strategies here. This is called a simple swing entry. And this is called an alpha echo. And this is also an alpha echo. And then we have the sell signal in here. When the parabolic trend line was broken, although we have other rules for exits using something called risk reward lines, which you can learn in the uh, course material that I provide. And then for the day trader, this is the position trader. I wanted to have the day trader chart there, sorry. But uh, again, comes back to just having that action candle, breaking from low volatility and up the stock goes. So for active traders, you understand the base theory, you learn my strategies, you're going to use my tools, Active Live and TradeStation. And I'll show these tools in a little bit. There is a process for swing trading and a process for day trading. So let's jump into the Active Live slide, which is right here. So this is the slide that I use to identify opportunities in real time. And I have a group of people every day that are monitoring this with me. Uh, it's called Active Live. And it's open to people that have completed the Active Trader course. When you take the Active Trader course, you get access to Active Live free for one month, and then it's $245 a month Canadian to continue that access. This is the most powerful tool that I have available to find opportunities quickly and ahead of the crowd. Because what this is doing is using a very high powered computer and running a program called TradeStation to identify stocks that start to be, make abnormal moves with abnormal volume using something called my action candle indicator. So we do it on multiple time frames. This window right here is running on the two minute time frame. So it will look for stocks making an action candle on the two minute time frame. This is doing it on the one minute time frame, or sorry, the 13 minute time frame. So this is for swing trading over here. And then this one is doing it on the one minute time frame. And this list, these two lists over here are looking for stocks that are trading abnormal volume. And when we see a stock trading abnormal volume and moving up from the open, which is what this column is for, then we know to watch it. And we like them in particular if they have a float that is low. So this column right here is for float. It shows the number of shares available for the public to trade. This window down here is looking for stocks breaking a pullback that have that strong abnormal volume. So there's all kinds of things going on here and any participant in Active Live, myself included, when I'm watching the screen, we don't do everything. There's just, you have to pick your strategy and focus in on one area of this screen. So right now the low float strategy is working really well. And so we tend to monitor these very closely. And if they're moving up from the open, they've got a low float and then you watch them for my action candle indicator on a chart, I give you all those indicators. So if you are a, a Stock Scores Active Trader member, I will email you those indicators. And I've spent tens of thousands of dollars and who knows how many hours developing those indicators. So that's the day trading process. For swing trading, well, again, we use this same screen. We use this area over here. I highlight swing trades every day for my students in the opening half an hour. Um, these ones are the stocks that are on the list. And then the ones that I really like, I put in the better swing area right here. So I will actually say this is a better swing candidate. And I call out the symbol as it happens for the opening half an hour. I do it in the opening half an hour for people because it's very hectic in the opening half an hour. And I've got a lot of practice so I can go through things quicker than um, maybe a new student. But eventually you're going to know how to do this yourself. It's not that complicated. And if you have the indicators and you're watching this screen and you're watching this screen here as well, you know what to look for 
but I will highlight some in the better swing. Now on Friday, we didn't have any better swings, but you know, it's every week we get a few. And that's how we find swing trades. The uh, Active Live has coaching from me every day. So at the end of every day, I go through your stock picks or trades that you've done, trades that I've done. I will highlight the entry, the exit, just walk through the process again, make sure that everyone is emphasizing the rules and how to read the chart. It's a really valuable service. It's probably the most popular aspect of my Active Live service. Now, Active Live again is watching me create and monitor the market for day trades and swing trades. It's real time. It's a live webinar that runs every day. It has automated instant trade signals and my computers are doing most of the work. I help you in the opening half an hour and the closing half an hour. And then usually four to six days a month, we do extended sessions where I give you an added hour of coaching that day to just walk you through the steps to execute the trades. Again, as I said earlier, I don't want to tell people what to buy. I mean, I do that, but more importantly, I want to tell you how to know what to buy, how to know how to manage risk, where to put your stops. I want to teach you to do it so that you don't need me anymore. And it takes time because everything that is, you know, a challenge takes practice, right? Again, if you wanted to learn how to ski, you got to practice. If you want to learn how to ride a bike, you got to practice. Well, trading is no different. Don't think that you can just rush in and start trading the market because you read a book called Trading for Dummies. It's not that sim it is simple, but it's not that easy. What is challenging is overcoming emotion, having the confidence in the strategy. And when you follow someone that's had experience, lots of experience, then you get that confidence from knowing that, okay, this person has tested this for many, many years, and, and that's going to give you some faith in that. All right. So again, that's the active live stream. And it's allowing us to do swing trades like this, where we have, we've gone over this one already. Let's uh, talk now about what you need for success in the market. You need to know what to look for. The Stock Scores Education Center is that facility where you can learn how to trade the market. You need to have a tool, support, and what you have to bring is the last one. You have to have capital and discipline and be willing to do the work. You know, I can lead you to, Leads you to water, but you got to drink, right? Um, January 1st, everyone goes and buys gym memberships, but if they don't go to the gym and work out, they're not going to get fit. So I will tell you what to do. I will tell you how to do it. I will give you the tools. I can give you the education, but if you don't work with it, if you don't listen, if you don't ask me questions, then you're going to have a slower process to success. So let's dive into the Stock Scores website. And I'm just going to quickly log in here. And we're gonna to go to the trader training area to education center, because I just wanna walk you through the process. So right now you can go to the education center and you can watch all of these videos for free. So if you wanna learn how the stock scores work, if you wanna learn the basics of reading a stock chart, it's all there and those are free videos. Once you are a member of stock scores, either an investor course member or an active trader member, you will have access to this, uh, this information. So this is the foundation area. This is where you learn your basic knowledge. So how to read a stock chart, what the chart patterns are, what a price channel is, risk management, this concept of the expected value of the trade, which is so important. Most people have no appreciation for this. How to use stops, scaling into a position, time frame confirmation, what that means, the different styles of trading, swing, day, position trading, investing how to reverse engineer the stock market, which is how I devised all these strategies over the years, developing a trading strategy, the importance of emotional control. You know, if you wanna read that lesson, you click on the little folder and here is some of the solutions and the things about emotional control. And then of course, there's a video that I've created, much like this webinar, there is a, this is a short video, 10 minutes. Most of the videos are about half an hour long. And this one is gonna walk you through the different solutions to the emotional traps that investors and traders face. If you want to uh, practice, there's an assignment. Uh, I think it's right here. So here are the assignment for that. And there's also a quiz right here, this little icon. And so this is where you can test to make sure you understand the knowledge that I've taught in that module. So that's the foundation section. And that gives you the base 
to then start learning the strategies. So here is the investor strategy area. So this is for the people that really looking to manage their own portfolio, want to take control of their money. And there's, what is there, six different strategies here. And then the exit rules are right here. So I'll teach you when to sell in this module. And then these modules are teaching the different strategies. So my favorite for uh, a daily look is the abnormal break strategy. And again, there is a written lesson and there is a video. There's no assignment or test for these modules because the assignment really is to apply them in the market. So here's a 12 minute video that's going to explain the rules for this strategy called abnormal breaks. And there's uh, the active trader section. And now we have quite a few more strategies, but we also have a number of videos that aren't strategies, but around the skills used to record or to uh, make these trades. So we have different strategies, a hit and run. We talked about that on Thursday, the intraday pullbacks. The wave, I don't do a lot anymore, but it's now been modified to something called the early riser. The alpha echo is a swing trading strategy. The simple swing is a swing trading strategy. All of these utilize that screen that we showed the active live screen earlier. You don't have to be on active live. You can run these strategies on TradeStation yourself. But many of my students like me to do that legwork so that they can focus on executing the trades and evaluating the trades, especially when you're starting out. It can be challenging just to do everything. There's a lot, you gotta be very organized. And so having the, my machine run the analysis in TradeStation um, is something that will allow you to really focus on the strategy. Then I just did this new uh, video a couple weeks ago, the day trading strategy cycle which talks about the different cycles in how the market moves. And another new video here, shortening the day trading time frame. And again, you can watch the video. There are the slides here. So if I go into this print icon, you can see the, the slides for that particular strategy. It's all right there. So it's really a lot of great resources on the Stock Scores website in the Education Center. Now, the next tool I'm gonna to show you is the Market Scan tool. And this is for position traders. Sometimes we can apply some swing trading strategies here as well. You can see that there are uh, swing trading strategies. There are scans for day trading too, but because this isn't real time, it's only going to allow you to build a watch list, but you then have to watch your real time charts for your entry signals. So if I wanted to, uh, let's say I was a weekend trader or weekend investor, I only want to do 15 minutes a week. I'm going to focus on these two scans right here. The first thing I'm going to do is set my default chart time frame to a three year weekly chart. And so the way you do that is you pull up any chart. I pulled up Microsoft and you go down to the chart options and you're going to change this from a daily eight month chart to a weekly three year chart. And create the chart. And now this is set my default to the weekly chart. Okay, and as a weekly investor, I'm looking for situations where the market switches from falling tops to rising bottoms, and the stock scores will typically rise above 50 or even 60. So you can see that here's 50, and when the stock was going down, we were below 50 most of the time. And then we had this abnormal break to the upside for one week, breaking from a rising bottom. These are all the concepts I talked about in the webinars early in, earlier in the week. And I really encourage everyone to make sure you watch those if you haven't seen them already, because I, that's not my purpose today is to go into those rules because we've done that already. But there's the entry point at $280. And there was actually a sell signal right here when the upward trend was broken at about $420. So that stock outperformed the market over the long term, And it didn't take a lot of time. You didn't have to sit there in front of your screen um, every day for an hour, because it's position trading. It's 15 minutes a week. And realistically, when you're learning and you're first starting out, it's gonna be half an hour a week. And when you get really good at it, like I can do this process in five, 10 minutes a week to identify the opportunity. So the way that works is you go to the market scan, Saturday morning, you've got your uh, coffee beside you. You select the stock scores, simple weekly US or Canada, depending which market you wanna focus on. I'm, I'll, let's try Canada. There was a lot of mining stocks moving this week. So we'll take a look at that. Run the market scan, 204 stocks. Now you might say, well, that's too many. So you could narrow it down by adding other filters. You could say, I only want stocks that pay a dividend of at least 
because maybe you're retired and you want some income. All right, now run the market scan. Now there's only 40. So then I'm going to go through the charts. And this is where the education really comes in because you have to know what to look for in these charts. And so as I go through these, I know that this stock was a good buy about uh, a month ago when it broke from a rising bottom through resistance with abnormal activity. And that was at whatever, 355. Now it's at 370. So it's slowly moving higher, but it's also paying a dividend. Now that setup, that strategy, this pattern here is called a bottom fishing pattern. It has a downward trend. Step one breaks the downward trend. Step two builds a rising bottom and step three breaks up from a rising bottom. That would be the buy point. Now, if you wanted to learn that strategy, you go into trader training, education center, go down to the investor strategies, and there you see the bottom fishing strategy. And if I click on the lesson, I'll just show you the chart. See that? Doesn't that look familiar? So there is a stock when I writ made this uh, written lesson that has almost the exact pattern that you're seeing or that you saw in that uh, other stock that we just looked at. Okay, so that's the process is every week you're running that strategy using that step-by-step uh, -step process. Now, if you wanted to do this every day, well, then you need to set your chart to a daily chart. So I'm gonna go back to Microsoft. I'm gonna go down to the chart options. And I'm going to change it from weekly to daily. I'm going to make this an eight month chart, eight months and run the scan. Now I can go to my market scan tool and I'm going to select abnormal breaks US. I could do Canada too, it doesn't matter. Run the scan and it found 92 stocks. It was an abnormally strong showing because usually I don't get that many. Now, if I wanted to go through these one at a time, I could in the slideshow or I could go through them 10 at a time with the gallery view. When you're starting out, I recommend you use the slideshow, but if you prefer, once you've practiced a little bit, now you can start to use this um, gallery viewer. You can see that I'm looking at 10 charts per page and I'm able to go through these quite quickly. So here's one that looks pretty good. This stock kind of has that bottom fishing pattern. It was in a downward trend. Let me try that again. It was in a downward trend. It broke the downward trend here. It built some rising bottoms. So now we're starting to get optimism. And on Friday, it broke through resistance with strong volume. So this is an action candle. It made that strong price gain with abnormal volume, telling us that some investors have taken an interest in the stock. Now, does that mean it's done? No, because we have to think about some other aspects. We have to think about reward potential for the risk you have to take. The reward potential for the risk you have to take. So I can see that there's a price peak right here. That price peak is going to be resistance. And then there's another one here. So I think the stock is likely to get up to 140 and then get stuck. And it might stall there for a bit and then go to 160 and get stuck. That's what's likely to happen. And so I have to think, does the reward for risk make sense? Because my downside, my support is down here, just under a dollar. I'm buying at about a dollar 20 and my first area of resistance is gonna be a dollar 40. So the problem is my upside to my first level of resistance is the same as my downside to the first level of support. And I'd like this to be at least double, the upside to be at least double. So for that reason, I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. Now, with my help and some practice, you'll be able to do that as well. And that's what I teach in the course materials, how to read these charts. All right, let's go through a few more and just see if there's anything that you guys can look at for Monday. Uh, this one's pretty good. This is another bottom fishing pattern. You can see the downward trend, build a rising bottom, break from a rising bottom, pretty good volume. I'd give this a six out of 10 as well. It's a little bit choppy here. So let's keep looking. I'm not going to go through all of these 92 because I don't want that to take too long today. Um, but let's just see. We'll do one more page after this. Now, notice I'm going through these quite quickly. When you first start out, you're going to go through much slower because you're practicing. But as you get good at it, you'll literally be able to zip through these pretty fast. Here's another one that looks pretty good. Here you have resistance there optimism. This is all things we talked about earlier in the week, low volatility, 
abnormal price movement, abnormal volume, and the next level of resistance is way up here. So entry point, support point price, one, two, three, probably about four and a half to five times the risk up to the next level of resistance. So I give this one a six and a half out of 10. I think it's got a 65% chance of going higher. Why not a higher rating? Well, the problem is it's a little bit choppy in here, which increases the chance that it'll pull back before it goes higher. And I'll give you an example, because we talked earlier in the week, one of the picks I made was this um, uh, lithium company. So we'll pull that up, T.LAC. So here's a stock that broke right here from optimism through resistance, has a little bit of resistance here, the next morning it opened up there and it's pulled back a little bit, but it has not come down to support. Support's way down here at 350. And so it'll probably pull back a little more and then hopefully it starts to go and continue higher. They don't always go right away. You know, if we go back to EVGO, which was um, that stock I showed earlier, the break was here, support was here. And look, it took almost a month before it finally moved up. But two months later, it's up almost 100%. So that's the process and that's the tool for investing. And then of course, the tool for day trading is TradeStation, which is the active live service using charts like this, where you can plot my indicators on the chart. Okay, I give you those indicators. These aren't the only indicators, by the way. We have indicators that draw trend lines and inflection points and all kinds of things. You could go out and, and uh, build those indicators yourself. You'd probably spend five to $10,000 on programming fees if you're not a programmer, but you'd also have to have the knowledge, the, you know, the math that goes into that. I've done all that for you. So why spend five, $10,000 when you can um, just utilize what I've already built? All right, so that's uh, the tools. So you need knowledge, that's our education center. You have tools that I offer, MarketScan, Active Live, TradeStation. Support from me while you learn, and then the capital, discipline, and work, you have to bring that. Our number one goal is preserving capital. And that's why I said earlier, when you start out, I'd like you to start with no capital, just practice. I don't care if you have $100 million in the bank, start with zero, because you're gonna practice, learn, and then start with a small amount of risk, because our real challenge as traders is overcoming our emotional attachment to money, and that takes some time to desensitize yourself to risk. And so if you are taking more risk than you're comfortable with, you're probably going to make mistakes. And if you start slowly, paper trading first, and then trading with a little bit of capital, find success, then increase your capital, your risk a little bit, find success, increase your capital a little bit, and it's a process. And eventually you get to that point where you're able to succeed consistently. So the stock scores tools, I've shown you the market scan tool. We have other tools on stock scores for risk management, risk calculators, charting tools. If I go back to the website and I go into um, stock scores charts here, there's a watch list creator, a portfolio creator, the uh, risk calculator right here. So let's say I was thinking about buying a stock at $10. My stop loss price is at $9. I'm willing to lose, um, $300 of risk and my commissions that I pay are $10 in and out, submit, it tells me to buy 290 shares. So that's how we size our positions using tools like this. And then we wanna calculate how we did on the trade. So if we bought 290 shares, our entry price was $10. We sold at 14.30 and our stop loss price was $9. We paid $10 in commissions, click submit. It tells us that our risk reward ratio that we earned was one to 4.3. Okay, so that's just some of the tools. We have all kinds of tools in here, but the main one is the market scan tool. That's really the thing that gives us our edge and will help you succeed in the market. If you are one of my active trader students, you're gonna get my active uh, live access. Again, it's free for one month. And then after that, it's 245 Canadian to maintain that access. Uh, you get indicators for TradeStation, which you know, if you were to have all those programmed yourself, it would cost you thousands of dollars, but you also have to know what to program. And I've done all that for you. And that's all included in the course fee. Investor membership, you're going to have access to the foundation lessons in the Stock Scores Education Center, my strategies, 
the market scans in the investor area. So if I go to the market scan tool and you can see that there are investor scans right here. So all of these scans are for investors. And as an investor member, you get access to all of those scans. The active trader students get access to the active trader scans. You can also program your own scans if you want. And so I've made a whole bunch of them. I don't really use most, most of these. I use really these ones every day and, uh, and these ones. But you can program all the ones you want and save them however you like. That's up to you. Again, you don't have to. Most of my students don't. You get email support from me and you get access to that tool for $300 a year, but you get the first six months access to the tool free with the course. The process, run the market scan, inspect the charts, do your risk management, entry position, monitor your trades for an exit. And then once you've concluded the trade, you probably want to just journal the trade so that you can learn something from it later. Now, the Active Trader membership includes all of that stuff. It includes a foundation area. It includes the investor strategies, but it also includes the Active Trader strategies. It includes the investor market scans, but also the Active Trader market scans. Still includes email support from me. Still six months access to the market scan tool, which you can renew at $300 Canadian per year. And this is one of the real valuable things. My trade station indicators are included. So... You know, if you were to build those again, it'd be $5,000, $10,000. If you knew how to program it, you get all of that included for free with the course. And you get access to Active Live, which is a very valuable tool because every single day we are trading the market and I'm highlighting trades. I'm answering your questions, reviewing your trades for you. It's a great learning tool. Process for Active Trader is you define which strategy you're going to focus on. So you might say, okay, I want to trade just the opening hour of the day. And so I'm gonna do the simple swing strategy or the alpha echo strategy. You might say, I can trade all day, but maybe only on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And so you're gonna focus on the early risers and the hit and runs and the intraday pullbacks. Okay, they're all kind of related. And so you define your strategy, you learn the rules, and then you watch Active Live or use TradeStation yourself to identify the entry signals when you get one, you inspect the chart to make sure it qualifies because we do have to evaluate the chart. Do your risk management, size your positions, enter the trade, monitor the trade, exit the trade. And then again, journaling the trade is a good idea. That's your active live screen. This is, I just grabbed this from Friday. So you can see the stocks that we're moving on Friday on this screen. NUZE was a great trader. I think it was Friday, maybe Thursday. Well, the 17th. 17th is when I grabbed this. So, yeah, that's Friday. Uh, TVGN, yeah, MTEM was a good one. TVGN actually finished the day down from the open, but it had some good trades early. Uh, Pixie, pre-market, but then wasn't good during the trading day itself. JDZG was okay. So there was, you know, a few stocks again on Friday that moved nicely. And there's something every day. Now, one other option for training, and this is more focused on the active trader, is the mentorship. So the mentorship is 12 classes. They're about an hour. Some of them are going to be a little longer because I'm going to dive a little deeper into um, areas where we need to dive a little deeper. But 12 online meetings starting Tuesday, November 12th. And it's typically Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, from now until Christmas. I'm going to walk you through everything. It's all of the material that's in the course, but I just take you through it personally. And so if you would like me to guide you through the learning process, you'll probably learn it quicker. You can't procrastinate because you have a class on Tuesday and you got to attend. Um, if you can't attend a class, that's fine, but it's better to attend live. Um, I record all of those classes. So if for some reason you have pickleball on Thursday, then you might miss that one, but um, you can uh, still... Uh, catch up with the video. With the mentorship, you get a month of active live included. It's really, you know, if you have some aspiration of making a living trading the stock market full-time or part-time, this is a great way to get up to speed quicker. It is limited to 15 students. I will be opening up registration as soon as this presentation is done. You will see it. It's not there yet. Um, well, I can make it go live actually right now, but it's not there yet. But to see it, you go to Trader Training, Upcoming Events, 
and you'll cycle down the page and you'll see it down here. It's not there yet, but you'll see mentorship here. Now, in order to be in the mentorship program, you have to first register for the Active Trader program. You can do that all today. You can register for Active Trader and then sign up for mentorship. I'll show you that in just a minute. So here's the uh, classes. You can see it's Tuesday, Thursday. There is the uh, topics for each one. I may modify a date. Sometimes I forget that I have a meeting or something on one of these dates. So this is the tentative schedule, but most likely it'll be pretty much the schedule. And there is the remaining 12 sessions. You can sort of, you know, watch this as a video later. You don't have to worry about trying to read everything now. Um, you'll be able to see all of this. So what is the value of what I do? Well, it'll save you years and lots of losses from mistakes trying to figure out the market. I see so many people trying to do it themselves and they lose thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars trying to do it. And so by leveraging my experience and by listening to how I tell you to slowly increase your risk, make your number one goal capital preservation. My goal is to save you what I had to do. I had to spend eight years. I lost a lot. You know, I, I borrowed $30,000 from my uncle at one point, $20,000. I lost it all. And then I had to restart and make enough to not only you know make a profit but also pay him back and i did eventually i paid him all back and uh you know as i said i one day just kind of figured it out and and really had some great uh success turning thirty thousand dollars into half a million dollars in three months i don't want you to think you're going to do that because i'm not here to make big promises about making a million dollars in a month it's you can't focus on the money you have to focus on learning and people that focus on the money first, they get too emotionally attached. So please just listen to what I tell you when I say paper trade first, start slowly, practice a little bit of risk for the first week, then the second week, maybe a little bit more, just slowly moving up your risk tolerance as you get successful. The market scan tool cost me quarter million dollars to build and then I've done lots of updates along the way, which were also expensive. You get to use that tool for $300 a year. I don't make any money using the market scan tool or selling you the market scan tool because the data costs me, uh, I think $6,000 a month for just the data. And you know, I don't have a lot of members because I don't want a lot of members. The goal here is to keep it small so that my tools are great for me and a small number of people and they don't lose their power by giving them to thousands and thousands of people. Those proprietary indicators for TradeStation, again, tens of thousands of dollars in time and money to build those. And support for me, you know, I don't charge extra. You send me an email saying, hey, I did this trade and it didn't work. Did I do something wrong? You're not charged for that. That's part of your membership with Stock Scores. Live training with me starts in November. So our first foundation classes are going to be Monday, November 4th and Tuesday, November 5th at 6 o'clock Pacific time, p.m. And those will go for about an hour and a half. If you can attend, they are recorded. If you want to watch them 20 times, you can watch the video over and over again. Most people will watch it a few times because there's a ton of information in those classes. Then we're going to practice running the market scan Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of that week, again at 6 p.m. And each of those sessions will be about an hour. And we're just going to apply what you've learned from the strategies. For those that take the active trader course, you can, uh, again, with the course, you get one month free, but that's where you're watching the real-time scanning and, and processes that we do in TradeStation. And every day at the last half hour, I review all of the trades that were valid for the day. It's super educational, but also I'm highlighting trades that I see as they happen, and I'm teaching you how to fish. I'm teaching you how to do it yourself. It is intimidating at first. I won't Sugarcoat it, the first week you're gonna be in there going, I have no idea what's happening. But everybody's like that. And then after two weeks, you're like, okay, this is actually not that complicated. And after a month, you know, you really start to understand it. But I'm gonna pre-warn you, day one, you're gonna go, oh hell, I don't know what the heck's going on here. All of my classes, so all of these classes are recorded. People ask me, do I record the active trader sessions? I only record the end of day sessions when I do some, some coaching or some lessons. And the reason is because when I run a recording, it slows my computer down a little bit and TradeStation is quite demanding. So I don't like TradeStation to run slowly because I'm doing a video. However, if you want to record any part of the day, you're welcome to do that on your side. 
there's software out there. Camtasia is one, OBS Studio, Flashback, I think it's called, is another one. And you're welcome to record on your side and, and that way you can go back and watch it or you know, say if you gotta go out and you, you're gonna miss the end of day session where I talk, um, you can record that on your side. Now the special offer. So anyone who registers for either the investor or active trader course before Friday next week, October 25th at 11 p.m. Pacific time is going to get the overview class and that strategy application series. So that opening week series, November 4th to November 8th, that'll be included. I'm also gonna give you a discount code on the next slide or two slides from now, where you can save on the regular price of the course. If you do the Active Trader course, you're gonna get a free month of Active Trader Live. And if you're in the mentorship course, you're also gonna get a free month of Active Live. There's no discount code for mentorship because you really should already have got that when you bought the investor course, because um, I'm gonna give you a code for that in just a minute. So the investor course cost is 2,995, which is about 2,200 US dollars. Those of you in Europe or in Asia can calculate your currency exchange based on that. Active Trader course, $39.95. Mentorship, $59.95 or $4,400 US dollars. With discount codes, you're gonna save $500 on the investor course using this code, 500ITA, that's not a one, that's I, 500ITA24. You're gonna punch that in at checkout and it'll take $500 off the price. If you wanna do the Active Trader course, you use that code. And remember, Active Trader includes the investor course. You don't have to do both. Now, if you took the investor course two years ago and you want to upgrade to the Active Trader, that is the cost. There's no discount code for that. And if you took the Active Trader course and you want to upgrade to the mentorship, that's the cost. And again, no discount code for that. The mentorship is limited to 15 students. I'm going to be opening it up as soon as we finish here today. So to register, very simple, go to stockscores.com, go to trader training, learn how to trade. You can read up on it here, what's covered in the course. There's a video that explains the active trader course. There's a video that explains the investor course. You click on order active trader here and you punch in your discount code 500 ATA 24, apply discount, takes the price off. You'll notice here it says 300 yearly. You do not pay $300 today. That's, you're, you're getting the first six months for free. So it's 3,495 Canadian. Canadians have to pay GST on that. If you're outside of Canada, there's no tax. $300 a year and you know just renews after six months. If you don't want to renew, you can cancel at any time. It won't renew if you cancel and you won't be charged anything for the annual renewal until the six month is done. Then you go to final checkout, enter in all your details there. Uh, wow, that's got a really old address. Okay. Now I'm going to do a poll quickly because I, as I said earlier this week, don't like to bug people with marketing unless they're interested in it. So I will launch this. Why would you want to take my course? Mistakes cost you time and money. I can tell you that from personal experience. I learned a lot the hard way by losing. 35 years of trading means, as I said, I'm an expert on the hurdles that all traders face and overcoming them. Because I don't teach a lot of people, you get a more personalized service. 25 years of teaching helps uh, me be, I guess, effective at it. If you find my webinars educational, easy to follow, I mean, that's the same style that I use in my course teaching. So. I think a lot of people like that I keep it simple. I don't use a lot of uh, fancy financial language. It's just to the point using concepts that most people can understand. The cost of education is much lower than other careers. You know, I have uh, kids in university and you know, when you think about what university costs compared to what this costs, and this can give you a career that is far more lucrative than anything you could learn in school, but you still gotta put in the work. I don't wanna make it seem like it's a, get rich quick scheme because it is like anything you got to put in the effort you want to be a, a physicist well you got to put in the effort it takes time and energy and uh, if you want to be a trader I'm your teacher your professor and I will teach you what I've learned but you still have to do the work and ultimately what I love about trading 
is that it's freedom. I have, uh, as I said the other night, been able to live in some great places. I travel a lot. And that's what trading has given me. Uh, I lived in Hawaii for a while. I lived in Whistler for a while. I traveled to, I think, 47 countries or something like that. I wouldn't do that without trading because when I'm on the road, I can be anywhere in the world and I can still uh, trade the market. I want to make it easy and prosperous for you. Ultimately, no one cares more about your money than you. So take control of it. Whether you take my course or do something else, I think everyone should learn something about how to manage their money because uh, when you hire people to do it, they just don't have the same interest in your well-being as you do. I know a lot about this. I've done it for a long time and I think I'm pretty good at teaching it to others. And I guarantee that you will learn how to be a better trader faster with what I do. Avoid pain, pursue profit. That's a good way to look at it. Support from an expert is fairly priceless. So if you would like to register, here's the steps to do so. Go to stockscores.com and begin by setting up a free account. So you go to stockscores and you're just gonna, from the home, I'm gonna log out here. And from the home page, you're going to uh, start your stock scores membership right here. See more, set yourself up. Once you're done that, now you can purchase the course. <clears throat> so you're gonna go to trader training, learn how to trade, read up, watch a video, and click on order active trader or click on order investor course. You wanna do that before Friday, October 25th because you get the free bonuses. As soon as you register, you have access. So it's all automated. And then you'll get an email from us a short while after with a little more detail about the week of live training, which starts November 4th, and the mentorship starts November 12th. Now for the mentorship, it's a two-step process. So first, you have to buy the Active Trader course. Then you have to log out and back into Stock Scores. Go to the Upcoming Events page. So instead of this page, you go to Upcoming Events. And you will see it in like half an well, not even half an hour, 15 minutes, I'll have it up. And you will see here instead where it says Active Life for October, you'll see one that says Stock Scores Mentorship on this page. And you can just register for that. But you have to first buy the Active Trader course, log out of the website, log back in, because the website needs to recognize that you're an Active Trader student, and then you can register for mentorship. There's the address to go to stockscores.com slash learn, or as I showed you, just go to the website and then go to um, the, uh, the trader training area. If you have any questions, there's my email address. And I can take a few questions now. Otherwise, I think we can wrap this up. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've uh, found it uh, insightful. I look forward to seeing many of you as students soon. It's gonna start pretty quick here. Education starts November 4th. The deadline for registration is October 25th. I hope you've enjoyed it and trade well.